Good evening, everybody. It's Andrew's Movie Corner, back to you once again. Last left off with Oliver and Company. Moving on, part two of my Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection VHS for, in its collection for October 2024. Starting with one of a sad but good movie. This is a 1997 Masterpiece Collection VHS of Bambi. This is a copy I've had the absolute longest. And this copy is, yep, T-Check certified. Yeah. Come on, camera, focus. All right, that does not creep me out. Well, it's a spine, character profile, Bambi. In the back, it says, A perennial classic remembered long after other movies have been forgotten. It says Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times. Yeah. And teach. Yep. Did say it was THX certified. And this was the first Disney tape to use the THX logo. It's the tape with the ink label. Print dates April 12, 1997. And then we have the second copy, which I had for 11 years now. Got it brand new in 2013. It's in case. And it has the same ink label. With the print date. Ah, oh, come on, camera. Print date is uh, March 13, 1997. The tape was released on... Yep, February 4th, 1997. This was for Disney Video's program from 97. Yeah. Disney was doing that in the year of 97. You'll excuse me, I need to get my camera focus. This is stamp one. And this is the commemorative booklet, which my copy has it. Well, my this copy first copy doesn't but this one does yep it's a very sad movie but it is a good movie too something by Roy Disney Walt's brother or should I say Walt's nephew And here is a business reply card. Comes with it. Okay. I want to put these away. And you don't mind? I would like to show you that this was the first Disney VHS to have the, feet, the THX logo. So this is my second copy of Bambi 1997 VHS. This is the one I got factory seal. This, I'm actually fast forward and get to the part to the THX logo, to the State to Natural Feature Bumper. It's the first one to have to use one of those. All right. Push it up for the entire family. Play Jolly Golden. The food fuse. Great time to games now on CD mm -hmm. Run. Stay tuned after the feature for a special program Walt Disney's Band, the magic behind the masterpiece. Thanks for joining us for this special preview. And now, our feature presentation. And yep, this was the very first Disney tape to ever use the THX logo. Uh -huh. And then on March 4th, 1997, Hunchback of Notre Dame came out to VHS. This is the one that's dubbed in English and is a and is a U and is an American printing. It's a spine, character profile of one of the gargoyles. And the back says the best Disney animated features in Sputing the Beast, says Roger Ebert, Chicago Sun-Times. 
And yep, here is the tape with the ink label. Right there. If we can get the camera to focus, yep. Ah. Come on, camera. Print date on this tape is January 13th, 1997. Yeah, my camera does not like... My camera is always tired. That's why. Hard for the camera to focus. Ooh. Yep. Nervous. Yep. We uh, lost the little slip. We find it. Should be here somewhere. Ah, we found it. This is for Disney Video Awards. Ah, here's this thing. I was looking for this. Yeah, I didn't. It. I didn't. I wasn't able to show it yesterday when I, when I was, when I was doing my VHS overview of the Hunchback of Notre Dame. I'm sorry. I didn't show this. I I forgot to do that. Show this. And. And here's the second stamp for the for 1997. Yep, blank on the back. And here is a shopping a video shopping guide. Yep. You have fun and fancy free is what I'll be showing after I show the French Canadian VHS of the Hunchback of Notre Dame. And here's a coupon. And, and another coupon. <clears throat> and look at this. You could do that. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's for Walt Disney World's 25th anniversary. That was back in the 90s. Ah, it's more coupons. Wow. These were... Wow. Can you believe it? <laughs> wow. Yep. Disney gave such great deals on on stuff back in... Back in 90... Back, back then. Yep. And this is the official business reply card that comes with the tape. And yeah, we're gonna clean all this up. <clears throat> all right. And now we are gonna move on to the 1997 French Canadian VHS of the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Yep, same casing, but in French. Yep, and this is the ink label on the tape. Uh, okay, we can get the camera to focus. Ah, uh, come on, camera to focus. Card number of 11 out of 138. Uh huh. And if you get a close look up here, yep, it is damaged right there. Yep, but the rest of the tape should play, but I will watch this tape soon. And now we have Fun and Fancy Free 1997 VHS. This tape was released on July 15th, 1997. Teach certified, it is the original animated masterpiece. Yep. The spine found Jiminy Cricket, and the back says Mickey was Walt, and Walt was Mickey, says. Frank Thomas of one of the original animators of the Disney Studios. Plus, it includes a free commemorative bo booklet, Walt Disney, The Man in the Movie, The Man in the Mouse, plus exclusive making of bonus programming and THX certified. And you know what? This one actually has that commemorative booklet inside. I will show it to you after I show you the tape. Actually, the tape itself, my copy actually has, is rare because it has a, yep, get the camera to focus. Better. It has a dark sticker label. Print date is May 25th, 
And here's all, some, all the promo stuff there that go with it. Come on, camera, focus. Here is a video shopping guide. Comes with it. And this is a stamp for the stamp five. And this is for old yellow. It came out October seventy. So I'm not including it this time because of because it was it's part of the Walt Disney Film Classics. It, it uses even though it uses the masterpiece logo. Yeah. And the business reply card that comes with this copy of Fun and Fancy Free. And then we have the 97 VHS of Pizza Ring. This is July 15, 1997 VHS. Yep. It's the same case as the 94 VHS of Pizza Dragon. And it has the same ink label. The print date is different. Hold on. Get the camera to focus. January 21st, 1998 is the print date on this VHS. And here's an attached coupon that came was on the tape when I got it. This is a shop along video guide. That's all it comes with this copy of Pete's Dragon. And then we have the 97 VHS of Robin Hood. Yep, has the same case as the 94. VHS. My copy of it has a white sticker label. Print date of January 4th, 1998. Yep. All right. And then the next film in the Masterpiece line is Mary Poppins. This is the 1997 Masterpiece Collection VHS. T-Tex certified. It does not creep me out. It's a spine from Mary Poppins. In the back says Walt Disney's crowning achievements is Leonard Maltin the Disney films. It includes the free commemorative song booklet plus special bonus program and TX certified. Yep, this copy actually has that song booklet. Yep. And yep, here's the tape with the ink label. Print date is July 29th, 1997. Yep, promo stuff are inside this booklet. I want to get them out of here before I show the kind of show off the whole booklet. Right. Here's the video shopping guide that comes with it. This is a stamp on the tape and coupons save up to 12 bucks. Yep. Any business reply card? Not right on it.
I will be. All right. Never mind. All right. Here we have version one of the 1997 Masterpiece Collection VHS of Sleeping Beauty. THX certified. It's a spine can file of Maleficent. And the back says an unmatched vision of a world of, of pageantry, magic, and adventure, says Los Angeles Times. Fully restored limited edition includes approximate 15 minutes of bonus programming and plus special commemorative booklet, Sleeping Beauty, and THX certified. And here's the tape with the ink label. Print date is June 10th, 1997. And version two, it's right here. Got this tape factory sealed about two years ago and has the same case and same label. Print dates July 27, 1997. And this one actually has, has that commemorative booklet and all the savings inside. New offers from Disney. Start with the commemorative booklet. <clears throat> Here's the shopping guide that comes with this VHS. And there's the stamp that comes with it. Coupon for Coke. Caffeine free Coke, at least. And coupon, you can save for this is for uh, play school toys and the last thing, a business reply card. I'm not writing on this. No one is writing on it. Okay. I will probably be watching this copy of Sleeping Beauty later. And then we have the widescreen collector's edition VHS. I got also, which I bought this tape on eBay earlier this calendar year. And it is THX certified. Spying file of Maleficent right there. In the back has that same correct view and it's the special widescreen format the way Walt Disney intended it to be seen. We can get the camera to focus. Widescreen collector edition includes approximate 22 minutes of bonus programming. Once upon a dream, of the making of Sleeping Beauty and the original theatrical trailer and rare dance sequence featuring featuring Helene and Stanley, model for Sleeping Beauty. As aired on the Mickey Mouse Club in 1956, pl plus commemorative, special commemorative booklet, Sleeping Beauty and Teach Extra Fight. This one also has that booklet, which I already showed it on the last copy. And it's under the video shopping guide. So tape, the ink label. Print date is December 11, 1997. And we're not going to show the promo stuff again because I don't want to waste time with that. And yep, and there you have it with this VHS of Sleeping Beauty. Now, what's up next is the 1997 VHS of Jungle Book. This is version one. THX certified, yep. Released October 14th of 97. It's a spine file Baloo. In the back it says, memorable music, imagine it. Intuitive Adventures, a treat for all ages. This is David Watley of WCVB TV of, of ABC Boston. Includes Free the Jungle Book, Music of the Jungle Book Songbook, plus, plus exclusive bonus programming never before available on video and THX certified. And yep, and this one actually does have that booklet. I want to show, I'll show it after I show you the tape with the ink label. Print date is August 19th, 1997. Here's the... 
Here's all the saving, valuable savings and new offers from Disney inside. Let's see. I want to start with the booklet. And here's a Disney video shopping guide that comes with it. And here is the stamp. After the stamp, there would be two more for Beauty and the Beast. One for Beauty and the Beast Enchanted Christmas, one for George the Jungle. And here's a coupon. It's a, yeah, mail order certificate. This is a free issue. And this is a business reply card that comes with the video. Okay, let's put these all back inside. All right. And more but the copies. This one's also version one, has that same case. This one, these two do not have that commemorative booklet. This tape has an ink label and printed August 13th of 97. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then we move on to version two, it has the same case, everything, and same label. Different print date, October 20th of 97. All right. There you have it with that VHS release of the Jungle Book. And then on February 10th, 1998, Hercules made its debut on home video in the Masterpiece Collection line. Yep. Here is the spine care file of Hercules. And the back says the hippest, most playful of them all, a hit of Olympic proportions, says WCBS TV of New York City. And here is the tape with the ink label. The print date is November 25th, 1997. And here are some promo stuff that come with it. This is an ad for Bell's Magical World, which would be coming to video. Also on video February 10th, 1998. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then we have the 1997 French Canadian VHS of Hercules. That I got this. No, 1998 French Canadian VHS of Hercules. Sorry. Also released February 10th, 1998, has the same case. Has an ink label. Cartridge number 6 out of 18. So, yeah. And then, a couple copies of the 98 Masterpiece Collection of each. That's a Peter Pan. Yep. This is the first copy I've had for an extremely long time. Yep. T Tech certified. Yep. Here's the spine. Can follow Peter Pan. And the back says, belongs in the home of every junior young girl. It's his union leader. And includes exclusive, the making of Peter Pan. Bonus programming, never before available on video and T-Tech certified. And yeah, here is the tape with the ink label. Print date is January 26, 1998. All right. And then have one that I got factory sealed about nine years ago. It's still in, still in really nice condition. Considering I've had this for nine years. It has the same ink label, but it has a completely different print date. January 24th, 1998. And I want to show you these promo stuff then. Show you proof that this was the first of these fully restored limited edition tapes to have the THX logo. 
right? Let's see, two coupons attached to this tape. Wow. Two rebate offers. Wow. That that's a that is a that's a blessing. And yep, this is a mailing certificate. Another mailing certificate. And this preview thing. Yep. Business reply in the uh, bank. All right, go ahead and put everything back in here. And I will and I will briefly show you the feature pres the flash bank feature presentation logo that appears on this VHS. Peter Pan, that is. And we'll go ahead and pop this in. I can show you the evidence I need to show you on this VHS of Peter Pan. We're going to fast forward through the whole thing. Be sure to join us after the feature for a very special program. You can fly the making of Peter Pan. And now, our feature presentation. And this is all the evidence I need to show you on this Peter Pan VHS. Okay. And here is the 1998 French Canadian VHS of Peter Pan. Yep, which does have the same case, but it's all in French. I can't read it in French. I don't know French very well. And the same, it's got, no, it's a different ink label right there. Cartridge number 36 out of 62. <clears throat> and here's the 1998 VHS Little Mermaid. This is the first copy. Yep. Got factory sealed in 2014. And it is THX certified. This tape was released March 31st, 1998. Yep. Here's the spine of Ariel. And the back says they don't get any better. This is... Jeff Craig of 60 Second Preview and bonus never before seen music video part of your world. And T-Tech certified. And yep, here is the tape with the ink label. Print dates February 10th, 1998. I would like to show you these promo stuff before I move on to the second copy. If you don't mind. And yep. Uh, hold on. Uh, dive inside. For value... Well, savings and new offers from Disney. Says, Sorry, you didn't win the Disney Cruise Line. Then instant win, win sweepstakes. But look inside for valuable savings from Disney Cruise Line. Let's see. Uh, yeah, but that was... But here is this...
coupon. This is a, this this actually was it was a, was attached to the VHS when I bought it when I got it. Yep. <clears throat> Another mailing certificate. Here's one for Disney Cruise Line. And a business reply card. Came with the Little Mermaid VHS. the second copy which has a dark sticker label it has the same case and everything it has a dark sticker label yep there is a cracker in there but the tape works print date is march 7 1998 but the tape was released march 31st 1998 and then we have a 98 vhs of alice in wonderland yep also released was re what they changed its previous March 31st, 1998. Yep, it has the same case as the 94 VHS, same label, but this one was printed April 30th, 1998. And then we have the 1998 VHS of Dumbo, it was updated previews on that same day, it has the same case as the 94 VHS of Dumbo. Same label, but it was printed on April 9th, 1999. Yep. And then we have the Masterpiece, 1998 Masterpiece Collection VHS of Mary Poppins, fully restored, THX certified. Yep. It's a spine about Mary Poppins in the back. Same critic view as the 1997 VHS and THX certified. It's a tape with the ink label. Print date is June 19th, 1998. All right. And then the 1998 VHS of Pete's Dragon also reissued it on March 31st, 1998. And it's got the same case and the same label. Print date's April 21st, 1998. And then we have the 1998 Masterpiece Collection VHS of Robin Hood also, also reissued that same day, March 31st, 1998, and it has the same case. S same label, two print dates. It's got a print date February 25th, 1999, and March 11th, 1999. Printed the date, the official print date was the print date be was the day before Michael Rizzo was born. And then we have the 1998 VHS Sword and Stone with updated previews from March 31st, 1998. It has the same case and everything. Same label. Print date's September 28, 1999. Yep, but this has previews from 98 VHS. That would be 2000 when they would have previews from the 99 VHS if there was a 99. But then, all right, now... Moving on to the 1998 Masterpiece Collection VHS of Melody Time. Fully restored special edition, T-Tech certified. Here's the spine from Donald Duck. In the back says, uh, Disney Delight says the Daily News. And here is the tape itself with a dark sticker label. Print date is April 20th, 1998. And the tape was released June 2nd, 1998. Here is a coupon mail-in certificate that comes with it. Winnie the Pooh Porkling Box Collection. All right. Now, I would show you the 86 Walt Disney Home Video logo that is appeared on this tape, but I don't want to mess that up. I was in the middle of watching it last year, and I hadn't had the time to finish. And then this is the 1998 VHS of Black Cauldron. This is the one with the feature program bumper. This is a U.S. printing. I've had this for 13 years now. All right. 
after I show you the everything that comes with it, then I will be showing you the showing you that this this is the only tape in the masterpiece line to have a feature have the feature program bumper. It's a spine five Terran. In the back it says a rip roaring tale of swords, sorcery, and magic. It says Roger Ebert, the Chicago Sun Times. Yep. Here's the tape with the ink label. Print dates June 15, 1998. This. And a coupon that also comes with the video. Uh -huh. All right, go ahead and, and we'll show you the feature program bumper briefly. And now, our feature program. Um, yep, this is the only Disney Masterpiece Collection title that has the feature program bumper, and that's, I kind of find that weird. But hey, I'll make the best of it. Alright. And there you have it. Just wanted to show you this evidence on this VHS The Black Cauldron. Yep. The Canadian printing also has the same thing. Mm -hmm. This is that copy right here. Yep. The same ink label, with, with but it has a cartridge number. 175 out of 204, yep. This was attached to the video when it came in the mail. And then we have this one, a copy, which has the feature presentation logo and Masterpiece Collection logo. But those were the earlier copies that had the feature program bumper. Oh, yeah. This tape was printed July 28, 1998. Yeah, I'm going to pop this in to show you proof. This copy does have the feature presentation logo and the Masterpiece Collection logo. So we're at the TV again, and I am going to pop this video tape, pop this tape into my VCR. Yeah, a little fuzzy. Well, well I think we're going to try and get that clean soon. Lucky Duck Lake, only on video. And now, our feature presentation. So yeah, this is the copy that has the feature presentation logo in the Masterpiece Collection logo. I'm gonna turn the lights back on.
Yep. That's all I need to show you on this copy of the Black Cauldron. So, yep, we're, we're done with this copy of the Black Cauldron, and, but we're not done with, with the Black Cauldron because I've got one that is in its wrapper right here. And it is staying in the wrapper because if I do happen to sell this, I could get thousands of dollars back. And that would be, and I would be rich. All right. And we got a couple 1998 Masterpiece Collection VHS copies of Lady and the Tramp. This is the first copy I've had this for an extremely long time. It is fully restored, T-Tech certified. It's a spying file of Lady and the Tramp. And the back says, one of Disney's most enduring classics is the Chicago Tribune. And T-Tech certified. And here's the tape with the ink label. Print date is July 29th, 1998. All right. And then we have the second copy, which I got this copy factory sealed. And yep, it's tape with the ink label. Print dates July 30th, 1998. Yep, and it has some promo stuff inside. Yep. This was about around the time Christmas was coming, which we got a few more months before Christmas comes, so yep. Speaking of, which... And next is the 1998 widescreen edition, collector's edition VHS of it. Fully restored and T Tech certified. Yep. I got this tape year, earlier this year. It's the spine. I'm bleeding the tramp in the back. It's got that same creek view as on the as on the full screen edition VHS. It's a special widescreen format. Walt Disney's first ever animated classic film in CinemaScope. Widescreen collector edition. <sighs> Including Peggy Lee and Rear Behind the Scenes. Bonus footage showing this this Siamese can't, can't song recording and T-Tech certified. Yeah. These are all the same promo stuff that come with that full screen edition VHS. But here's the tape with the ink label. Print dates August 14th, 1998. Printed day after my birthday. And then we have the January 5th, 1999 VHS, The Rescuers. This is a recalled version with that Yep, with that one, with with that inappropriate picture. Two tiny heroes, one big adventure. Yep. Spying about Bernard and Bianca. And the back says, A breath of fresh air, a solid story with a delightful cast of characters, says Leonard Malton. Yep, and here's the tape with the ink label. Print dates December 9th, 1998. And mind, I would like, I am going to fast forward this tape to the part where where, where that controversial image is shown. This is that part. The controversial. Oh, I just love oh, it. There it is. I've got to rewind it so I can show it to you again. In pause mode. I just love it. Oops, missed it. I did an explanation yesterday. Remember? Yep, you just saw that's that's the topless woman right there. That's what we're talking about. That's the reason Disney had to recall this on January eighth of twenty. I mean, nineteen ninety nine. And yep, that was all the evidence I needed to show you. I'm not, I'm not going to worry about rewinding this right now. Because we're this is that's the part where the controversial image is shown. And then we have 
version one of the 1999 Masterpiece Collection VHS of Mulan. Yep, I had this tape for long, for seven years. It's a spine file of Mushu in the back it says, Mulan is an impressive achievement, ranking with Beauty and the Beast and Lion King, says Roger Ebert. And yeah, here's the tape with the ink label. Print date is December 24th, 1998, so it was printed on Christmas Eve that year, even though this is a 1999 VHS. Mm -hmm. Everything comes with this VHS. Yep. And this would have been around saying when the ornaments were kind of on sale. It was the end of Chris. That was right after Christmas. And then we have version two, which has nothing at the end yet. This tape has the same case and has an has a white sticker label, print date of January tenth, nineteen ninety nine. Okay. And then we have the ninety nine French Canadian VHS of it. Also got this tape earlier this calendar year. Yep, this tape has an ink label, cartridge number of nine out of one hundred two. And it's the first copy of the 99 VHS of 101 Dalmatians. I've had this tape for an extremely long time. G-Tech certified. It's a spying felt one of the puppies. And the back says Irresistible, says Gene Siskel. And it's got special bonus exclusive mouse works featuring a featurette starring Pluto. That's right before the film begins. And yep, here's the tape with the ink label. Print date is January 19th, 1999. I mean, here's some promo stuff that come with it. All right. Uh. Had this VHS of 101 Dalmatians since 2012. For... Not bad. Here's a coupon. business reply and, and this thing let's put it all back together mm -hmm. and this is the second copy which has a sticker label dark sticker label Yep, see that right there? And it was printed January 13th, 19... No, January 5th... January 15th, 1999 is the print date on this tape. All right. And then we have the March 23rd, 1999 VHS, The Rescuers. This is the one without that controversial image. I, I'm going to show that to you after I show you this whole tape, this copy. All right. It's the same case as the, as the January 5th, 1999 VHS. It has a dark sticker label, again. Well, different. That's, I mean, that's different from the previous. From there. This was printed on... Ah, get my camera to focus. February 24th, 1999. Rescuers, the new release. That That's that's how you can tell this is the one without that... This is the clean version. I want to show that real briefly. 
This is the same spot, but without the controversial image. Show you that it is gone in in standstill mode. You know what, Disney, if, if you're still alive and watching this, good job recalling that, that, in a, that, that, co uh, that copy. Thank you, Disney, for recalling all those, all the January 5, 1999 printing three days later and reissuing this printing without the controversial image. All right, then we have the 99 Canadian printing. Also is the clean version. Does not have that controversial image in it, so that's good. Has the same dark sticker label. Cartridge number of 71 out of 137. You can tell Rescue is 99, that's how you can tell this is, this is the clean version. This is the copy of the Rescuers I watched the day that Bob Newhart passed away. And then we have the April 20th, 1999 VHS of Dumbo. It has the same case as the 94 VHS. And the same dark, but it's got a dark sticker label, black sticker label, print date of April 4th, 2000. And three days after April Fool's Day that year. And then we have the 99 VHS of Mary Poppins. It has the same case as the 98 VHS. Same label. Print date September 10th, 1999. And then we have the 99 VHS of Pete's Dragon. Also released April 20th, 1999. It has the same case as the 90 as the 1994 VHS. Same label as a different print date, March 15, 1999. All right. Then we have the 1999 VHS of The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. Yep. I recently did a comparison video on this film just a couple days ago. It's the 50th anniversary edition. It's the spine can follow Mr. Toad in the back. It says, some of the finest work the studio ever did, says Leonard Maltin. And Fantasy with all the Disney magic, says the San Francisco Chronicle. Yep. And then, here's the tape with the ink label. The print date's April 8, 1999. And it has a couple coupons inside. Here's this coupon. You bought this, bought Prince of Vicka, bought Mr. Toad, and Brave Little Toaster to the rescue. You could save $3, but you'd have to send a proof of purchase from the Brave Little Toaster to the rescue, at least. Uh, yep. And then we have the Canadian printing of the 99 VHS. It has the same case and everything. But it's got a different ink label. Yeah, without 50th anniversary on there, yeah. This tape has a cartridge number 12 out of 102. And, yep, there you have it, the 1989 Canadian VHS of The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. Next is the... 1999 French Canadian VHS of it. Got this tape 
with the 99 Cana US English Canadian VHS printing. That's the same case, everything. It has a different ink label. Yeah, completely different. Cartridge number of one out of one. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. All right, two more. Both released July 13th, 1999. This is Alice in Wonderland, 1999 Masterpiece Collection VHS. Yep. It's the spine file of Alice in the back. Same critic view as the 94 VHS of Alice in Wonderland. And here's the tape with the ink label. The print date's June 11th, 1999. Lastly, we have the 1999 Masterpiece Collection VHS of Robin Hood. Yep, it's the spying file of Robin Hood. And the back, same critic view as the 94 VHS. Here's the tape with the ink label. The print date is June 11th, 1999. Same print date as Alice in Wonderland. Here's some promo stuff that comes in. I was going to show them before I end this video. And yeah. And that is gonna come that is gonna wrap it up for my Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection VHS collection for October 2024. I sure hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to stay tuned, like, comment, and subscribe for more videos.